Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I have for you an unboxing and initial impressions of the Echo Spot. The Echo Spot really is the evolution of the Echo Dot. We've had first generation, second generation, and now in the third generation we actually have some Echo Show features down into this actual form factor. And what I mean by form factor, I'm talking about the hockey puck size, which is very small, takes very little space on your desk. But not only that, it has a built-in screen, speaker, and a camera. So a lot of features that we liked about the Echo Show, but in a small form factor. This is TK, let's check it out. The box is very nice. Of course, we have the Amazon blue color. We have obviously the assistant here, you know, called Kate and all those things. You can do video calls from it. It has a built-in screen and again, a small two and a half inch screen as well as a camera on the top. Um, there is also, of course, a one and fourth inch speaker at the bottom that's bottom facing and then you'll be able to get the sound from there. Farfield voice recognition with the microphones. That's typical and standard of Amazon uh, products. Compatibility with music services such as, uh, you know, music, Spotify. Uh, we have also Audible, NPR, all the, you know, the Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. And of course, this is the first time we've seen a branding there like that. Loomwork, and of course, Philips Hue to be able to control the home and Samsung Smart Things, um, and normal things that you're used to using with uh, you know the Echo ecosystem. A quick run through as far as some of the things you can do with this obviously is a stylish, compact Echo screen, small, small compact screen designed around your voice. So you're going to use mostly your voice to control this. Although there is some buttons. Listen to music on books in every room, obviously, since you can actually now connect them and, and basically kind of cast your sound for, to all of the Echoes in your home. Uh, make hands-free calls, of course, in the US, Mexico, and Canada, uh, and then voice control for smart home, which is typical. And here we are. It's actually a lot heavier than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I don't know. In the picture, I thought it would be much smaller. Uh, we do have this little plastic thing covering the face. Uh, as I mentioned to you guys, we have a two and a half inch screen uh, th this display here. Uh, they have the camera on the top. And as I mentioned to you guys, we have those grills at the bottom for the speaker, uh, as well as a non-slip material, of course. On the back, we have two connectors. One of them is going to be for power. The other one is going to be for that three and a half millimeter headphone jack that we are used to now having on Echo devices. Of course, we have the Amazon branding and uh, there's about three buttons here. Uh, we have a, so it looks to be a, like a mute microphone and of course the four setup of microphones, a plus and minus. Let's go and put this on the side and see what else is in here. Of course, we're looking at a proprietary plug from Amazon that will work with the Echo Spot. Nothing else. It won't work with anything else, of course. We have some more information here about their assistant, of course, smart home, some of the things you can command and ask for it. Uh, last but not least, this is the, I'm assuming, just the instructions. So yes, um, the button, oh yeah, that's right. So the uh, middle button is actually two function. There's a mic on off and of course a camera on off. So if you're in the middle of a conversation, you can end it directly by pressing that button. Of course, the camera also included as a powered adapter and that's pretty much it. As I mentioned to you guys at the beginning, this is really the evolution of the Echo Spot. Well, dot really. Uh, so look at it in this way. This is the first generation. We had uh, just two buttons on it and then we had the circle ring here to be able to control the volume rocker. And of course, we had the microphones as well as the speaker and the vent at the bottom. A second iteration, we lost the ring. We had the volume rockers on the top and bottom. It became slightly smaller, so we kind of lost some foot pressure here and it became a little bit lighter. All along though, we always kept the three and a half millimeter headphone jack in the back. That's something that we never lost, as well as the fact that we used to use micro USB to charge this, which makes this easier to be able to plug into, let's say, a power bank. The new iteration of the Echo, well now the Echo Spot, uh, lost the, three, the micro USB connector because now we have a much stronger power provided source since we need to be able to power a screen, but we still kept that three and a half millimeter headphone jack. So overall from a sense of actual just footprint to you, you can see it takes no more space on a desk than regular Echo's dot, but it actually goes a little bit higher because of that screen and it actually has a face, nice front facing situation. Uh, unfortunately, no configuration, no, re no ability to set up or point the camera in a different uh, orientation, which is very similar to the Echo Show. Pretty much stand there, sitting there, and hopefully it's actually a pretty good camera, so hopefully we'll get a chance to check that out. Hello, your Echo Spot is ready for setup. Automatically we're greeted with the language selection. We're going to go ahead and go with English, so the touch screen does work, and then we're going to need to connect to our home network. I like the fact that we actually have a full screen keyboard here to be able to use this, so no need to really actually set it up on your app. You can set it up directly from the screen. And it seems like it's very responsive as far as the keyboard. Very nice. So you notice right away it says Welcome TK. Uh, this is basically because most Echo or Amazon uh, devices, when they come to you, they come pre-configured. So you just need to uh, confirm that this is you. No need to put in your credentials. It's already connected. It has my time zone as well as North America. 
So it's going to call itself TK's Echo Spot, which is typical. And it looks like there is going to be an update that needs to download and install. So we'll go ahead and do that. So as it's going through the update, uh, these are the volume control. You'll notice it goes up and down. And what it does actually, it kind of goes through here. It's giving us the progress of the download, which is very nice. But the volume bar does kind of works like a normal Android volume bar. So once you have it on, you can set it up and configure it with your finger. Uh, pressing the button in the middle turns on that red ring, which gives us the access, well, tells us that the microphone is shut off. Uh, turning it back on it just goes back to that white color and you'll notice here is so this is just a nice little progress So let's go ahead and let it finish up and we'll come back to the video now It's installing the update here on the right side as is to do in this We're actually able to go into the uh, Amazon Alexa application So if you download that and install it log into it with your normal account uh, You'll notice here. So we have do not disturb we have scheduled on and off drop-in is also available here Sound the name of it. Of course, this is what we gave it the device location and address is already pre-configured I'm not sure why 9602 is in there, but we can fix that later on wake up word we can use the different words that we normally have let's see here which ones we have so we have alexa amazon of course echo and computer so those are the standard ones that we normally have i'm going to keep it at the word that it normally uses uh, last but not least we have the wake up language of course uh, choose a photo if you want to be set up a screen backdrop temperatures distance uh, it is registered under my name device version and serial number we don't have to worry about those things uh, but again uh, if you want to just let's say wait, choose, choose a photo let's see if i can actually uh, assign a photo from my library Oh, here it is. Uh, we'll go ahead and use this photo for now. And we're going to go ahead and upload that, and we'll see if that comes up on the actual uh, Echo Spot as soon as it's done with the update. It took approximately about 10 minutes to finish this update. Now that it's done, it restarted a couple of times and it optimized. We'll go ahead and hit play. Introducing Amazon Echo Spot, a stylish, compact Echo with a screen that's designed to fit anywhere, like on your office desk or night. And that's how you skip a video on the Echo Spot. Um, now it's trying to give us uh, access to, you know, if you want to be able to do the music service, we're going to say no. And this is going to be the default screen. It's a clock. Uh, it's a button. Your Echo Spot is ready. Yep, pretty much. It's a screen. Let's see if we can swipe. So yeah, we have weather. It thinks I'm in a ravine. I'm not sure why. And then we have tried the command, of course, Pennsylvania building. So this is very, very much similar to the way the Echo Show is. It automatically does these things. Uh, now I'm going to initiate the command. So I'm going to try to mute the volume every time I use this. Show me the weather for Las Vegas. Here is the weather in Las Vegas, Nevada. So we have access to the weather itself. Uh, you, know, you can swipe away. You can tell you basically the high and low. Swipe it away again, gives you the next three days. And of course, keeps going till it's done. It gives us just a recap. Show me videos of TK Bay. Here's what I found. By default, it goes to the Amazon uh, video. This is their own little, uh, their own selection of uh, videos. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play and see how this works. And these are the configurations to be able to control it. I'm not sure how functional it is to watch a video directly like this, but it's something that is definitely very nice. Alexa? Show me my front door camera. Okay. One of the things I did enjoy on this, and I'll have to get, get this thing configured correctly, is with the Echo Show is that you have the ability of connecting this to a ring doorbell. So even though this is sitting on your desk, you can actually use it to view your front door. Alexa? Go home. And it goes back to the main screen. Alexa? Play some NCS music from YouTube. Web videos are not currently supported on this device. So it seems like YouTube is not supported on this. Let's go ahead and just play some regular music from Amazon's library. Here's a station you might like. Selena Gomez from Amazon Music. So what I like about this is most of Amazon's music, if you're using their default player, will give you the words so you can actually skip through and see what the song is, what the lyrics are. And again, that's the main screen. Swiping from the top, you have access to going home. You can go into the settings in here. Um, and again, overall settings are going to be very similar to the Echo Show. You have Bluetooth connectivity. You can connect the Bluetooth speaker to it. Wi-Fi, it's already connected. Home and clock, you can set it. Um, home card preference, night mode, if you want to turn that on. And then, of course, the theme, it's analog, digital, or personal photo. I'm going to go to personal photo since I uploaded mine. Uh, we have sound, do not disturb, device option, restrict access, try th things to try, help accessibility, legal information, of course, and just the overall information here. So device option, let's go in and hear the name, all the things we saw within the application. So you can configure everything directly within the actual Echo Spot. And just like that, you can actually customize the picture that you have and you can swipe around. And again, that picture becomes persistent. I uploaded that directly from my camera reel on my device using the Echo uh, application. Very easy. And if you have pictures on the Amazon Cloud, you can, of course, pick one of those pictures directly from the Echo Spot. Here's a quick sample of the video call functionality. All I ended up doing is asking the assistant here to call my account. And it did, and it called it on my phone. So as long as you have the Amazon Alexa app installed, 
you can actually use this. Uh, the only thing you want to be aware of, if you have this installed on multiple devices, it's going to ring every single one of them. Uh, you have drop-in, you have all the other features that you normally have with the Echo Show, now in a smaller form factor and slightly cheaper price tag at $129. I think the Echo Spot has a spot in somebody's life. Uh, if you're normally used to using the Echo Dot in your office and you wanted to take it to that next level but did not want to go to the boxy version of the Echo Show, which is kind of big and it takes a lot of space for what it offers. Now, keep in mind, it has dual stereo speakers, it has much better audio you know, playback, uh, a much bigger display to be able to use, and of course, all the same functionalities that we had here with the Echo Spot. The Echo Spot fits in that norm of where your Echo Dot used to be. Very nice, very small uh, form factor. I'm not sure if the 129 kind of makes sense. I'm hoping for it to kind of drop a little bit around 100 bucks. I think that's where really where it kind of fits. Uh, from the form factor and what you can do with it, it's very nice. Everything is voice controlled and it's intended to be that way. You can connect it to other smart things. Let's say you're, you know, Samsung smart things, ring doorbell, and it does actually work. You just need to set it up. Out of the initial setup that I had here, it didn't have enough time, but I did show that in one of my Amazon uh, Echo Show videos before, and I'll try to link that for you guys in the description. Um, other than that, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like and subscribe as usual. This is again one of the next iterations of the Amazon Assistant in a new form factor. Amazon wants to make sure that this thing is available everywhere and anywhere in your home. Uh, we don't have any displays on any of the uh, Google uh, peripherals as far as you know the Mini, the regular, or even the Max. So that's something very unique to Echo right now that you can actually get it with a display. Not only that, a very nice display uh, to fit in a small spot on your desk or next to you in a nightstand. This is TK. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support and I'll see you guys in the next video.